All right, today we are going to talk about following up, which is essentially the biggest part of growing your team. And statistics show, and you're going to hear this time and time again, somebody has to hear about something seven times before they're like, okay, I'll do it. And think about yourself. How many times did your coach have to reach out to you <clears throat> in order for you to actually join? How many days or months did you watch on the sidelines before you were like, all right, I guess this is real. I guess I'll do it. So please, please, please make sure that you are following up with every single individual that you come in contact with. The best way to do this is by tracking I use a Google spreadsheet. Um, I put the person's name or their Instagram handle. I put where we connected, whether it was in person, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever. Oh, and then I put <clears throat> in the comment next to that something about them or something about our conversation so that when I go to follow up with them, it's not like an awkward, like dry conversation. Um, I usually say like, hey, I have this group running. Um, I really want you to be a part of it. I want you to be there. We would be a better team if you were a part of it. We want your energy. We want your vibe. Make them feel wanted. That's what a huge part of Beachbody is, is that inclusiveness, that community, that I belong feeling. And you need to be the one that initiates that by following up, making them feel like they're not forgotten about, and then getting them plugged in. Um, make sure that you're knowledgeable on all of our products and programs. And if they give you some kind of excuse, come back with a solution. Our job is to help solve problems. That's the whole point of this. We are there to provide a service to them and it's a solution to something that's going wrong in their lives or maybe not wrong, but something that they want to have be better. We have the answer. So don't let a no defeat you. I've had Time and time again, people say, no, not right now because X, Y, Z. And I'll say, all right, I won't forget about you. I'll, I will make sure that I keep you in mind for blah, 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 whatever their excuse is. Or if they're like, it's time, cost, money, situation, whatever, just be very um, open that you're going to get no's and it's okay, but it's your job to consistently follow up with them. There is no limit on follow-ups unless that person is like, hey, please stop bothering me. Like, I don't want to do that. Um, there have been people that I've invited for over a year that then enroll. So don't give up on people. Don't get frustrated. It is very, very common to get the word not right now or some type of excuse. If you are consistently getting that, um, take a screenshot of your conversation and post it for us to help you navigate some, some lingo. There's a lot of times where when you're new, <clears throat> you're just like, okay, well, that's all right, blah, 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 where we kind of know how to navigate those conversations and get that person to be more on board. So don't ever be afraid to reach out to your upline and just say, hey, this is how this conversation is going. How would you respond? How would you react? Do you have a different kind of solution for this combo and how I can get it into a yes? So follow-ups are huge. I would say 90% of my inviting is through follow-ups. Um, you can follow up with pretty much anyone everyone's fair game and really make them feel wanted. People want to be wanted and it's your job to make them feel that way. So quick spiel on follow-ups. So they don't need to be difficult. They don't need to be time consuming. Just a quick, Hey, enrollment's open. I was thinking about you. I'd love to have you there. Your energy, your spirit, your fire would be great. Just something casual where it's not like a, Hey, I know last month you said, no, would you like to this month? Don't do that. Just create a conversation, be very open with them. And honestly, I have more success with voice memos. Um, I do warn them. I'm like, hey, this might be a little bit weird for you, but I'm a real human and I actually want you to hear my voice. So, um, and we'll be working together one-on-one -on -one in the near future, blah, 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 blah. And so just opening that gate of open communication and making sure that they know that you're a real person and you're not just in this to make a business sale is huge. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you guys have questions. If you have conversations started that you don't know how to navigate, drop them um, for us to help you. So thank you.